attention. If you're using or looking to use reply.io, then this review is for you. We tested the product for over 100 hours and went through 100 real user reviews to find out what this software is all about. Hi, I'm Saurav Gupta, the founder of Sales Robot, and this reply.io review will answer every question that you have about Reply. Upfront, what is the first thing? What is reply.io? Reply.io is a simple sales automation tool for both email and LinkedIn channels. But to be very honest, they're very heavy on email and only have a few LinkedIn features. They're typically used by sales teams or lead generation agencies to generate more leads via cold email and LinkedIn. They also have some features around WhatsApp, around texting and all of that, but it's mostly heavy on email and LinkedIn. And they recently released a lot more features around AI, which is something interesting. Let's break it down. What do we like about reply.io? The most liked features of reply.io are the following five. The integration is very seamless. There's really nice email tracking features. They have a very nice multi-channel approach. There's personalization and AI tools, and then there's email validation inbuilt. Let's get deeper into all of these. Seamless integration, right? Reply.io comes across as a very simple email automation tool. You can integrate it into every email workflow that you have. You can find out how many people are viewing your emails, how many people are replying to your emails, and this gives you a very nice bird's eye view of what is happening to the email that you send these guys. Of course, users can sync their data to their CRM and making sure that all of that data goes into the CRM makes it easy for you to have a simple, clean view of all of your data. People like this. Second thing is email tracking. They give you very detailed insight into it. How many people are opening your email? How many people are replying to your email? And that makes it a very comprehensive analytics dashboard for you to go into. The third thing that people like about them is their multi-channel approach. It's a very good tool for cold outreach. So this review here, this guy saying you know it's the most important tool for cold outreach if you want to send cold emails but if you send just one email obviously you're not going to get enough responses so reply.io has very nice auto follow-up features if you don't get a response to one email you can obviously follow up in the same thread three days later five days later seven days later and often you'll hear back after multiple follow-ups the other thing is if they're not responding to one channel reply also has multi-channel steps maybe you can give them a call maybe you can send them a linkedin message maybe they'll respond to that so that's something people really like the other thing and this is a new advancement from reply.io is their ai tooling they've called it json ai which i think is a rebrand of chat gpt but long story short it helps salespeople personalize their emails in a much easier way what you can expect to get is more responses from your prospects who feel like you've done a good job of personalizing the outreach just to them now the other portion is email validation there are tons of other email validation tools out in the market the thing i like about reply.io is that they've made it very seamlessly integrated into their workflow One once you bring in emails from any source, you bring it from their Chrome extension or you bring it from your CSV, what they do very well is that one click, they'll validate all of your emails so that you're not sending to email IDs that are bouncing and that hurts your domain reputation a lot. So that is something that a lot of users really like about reply.io. All right, so we've covered the good. That's all, that's all, we can wrap it up. Now, of course, there's some things that users don't like about reply.io, let's get into those. The first thing that users don't like about reply.io is the poor management of multiple accounts slash users. The second thing is there's definitely a very high learning curve. It's not very easy to get started with the tool. Then there are technical glitches and slow performance, which often is a deal breaker with software. Then you're using it, it's supposed to be fast, quick, and nice. Customer support is often unreliable. You now when you're buying software, it's not just about software. It's also about the team that's supporting you use that software. Then the setup is cumbersome and the navigation isn't the most straightforward. And then there's sometimes inefficient reporting and analytics. So even if you're reporting, the whole report reporting uh, structure is not up to the mark. Let's get deeper into each of these. Poor management of multiple accounts slash users. So this is a big problem for agencies or bigger sales teams that are using reply.io in a team setup. If you're a single user, you won't feel this pain. But if you are a sales manager or a lead generation agency owner trying to manage multiple clients or multiple sales reps, then you'll see that it's very difficult to switch in and, in and out of accounts. It makes it very confusing. And there's much better tools out there that help manage this whole process easier then there's a high learning curve the interface is a little non-intuitive there's a time consuming onboarding process and the campaign setup can be a little complex then there are technical glitches a lot of users report that the support team doesn't care about them let's read this particular review from the guy who said that he did report some bugs to their support team but they basically ignored him so he says i sent them a screenshot showing me reproducing the bugs they didn't seem to care i emailed the sales rep with the screenshot and she said that the monthly plans don't include support so apparently they'll ignore the the bug in their software. I've never worked with a website that seems to care so little about the quality of what they sell. Even though the page looks fancy, the tool looks fancy, support is something which is table stakes thing. It's supposed to be great. If support is great,
upgrade then the tool you know becomes very easy that's one thing that people don't like the other thing is the chrome extension is also buggy when you're opening it up on linkedin it slows down your linkedin and sometimes it doesn't sync the data well to the rest of the platform that causes a lot of issues let's dive deeper into it the customer support team can be unreliable this user also re reported that there was no proper response and they released their feature without testing their feature which is not a great thing for software and then the other important point is this inadequate self-help resources they don't have enough documentation or youtube videos or resources around it which makes it very hard for a new user to adopt the software the other thing is setup can be a little cumbersome and navigation can be hard let me show you what i mean it requires users to go through multiple steps and configurations often involving integrations with other tools which can be overwhelming for users who are new to it the navigation is confusing consistent placements of features are there and they, that makes accessing some specific functionalities like campaigns a little challenging at least to wasted time and effort and then there's a steep learning curve because of all these issues so it becomes a little hard to use the tool final point is around inefficient reporting and analytics the data can be uncomprehensive the data can be inaccurate as well a lot of times they'll report a lot of emails being opened while the actual numbers can't be that high click through rates are sometimes reported a little higher as well again this may not be related to their software performance because we know apple uh, recently released their ios 14 updates which make it very hard for email trackers to track emails so this actually not be their fault but again you're the one who suffers because you want to know how many people have actually opened your email and you're not getting the right data from reply io cool so that's it for pros and cons let's dive deep into the pricing so how much does it cost this is a free plan that's great so the free plan gets you thousand credits per month an ai sequence generator the chrome extension and data storage i feel that's enough to give you a taste of reply.io so if you have time you can go and test out the free plan but it limits you as well like thousand credits isn't enough to test out the tool but it's a start right and then there's a starter plan which i feel is, is a little expensive at 60 dollars per user per month because they're giving you one mailbox for just that 10,000 data credits, also JSON AI, which is email sequence generator, some basic reporting, pipe drive and HubSpot integrations, Chrome extension, and all of the analytics. A little expensive, but maybe worth it. Professional plan, $90 per user per month, two mailboxes, warm up in mail toaster, which is their warm up feature, multi channel, advanced reports, Salesforce integration calls and sms so more deeper into the sales people workflows it really feels like the professional plan was designed with the more enterprise company in mind so if you're not using salesforce i don't think this has much value but it might be good to get the calls and sms part in the professional plan then they really go into the custom plan which is where they want you to talk to their sales team they'll try to sell you on annual plan i know because i've tried to talk to them and they're always pushing you to buy more and more and more and get you to pay more and more money so if you can take with the startup and professional plan that's better for you if you want to talk to the sales team of course you can what do they give you in the custom plan right so first of all you need to be at least a team of 20 users to get a custom plan they offer you the email api their white label and their customized solutions uh, extensive flexibility and additional support you can obviously talk to their sales team to learn more and then there's an agency plan i think this is targeted specifically towards agencies they have more email accounts in there unlimited users unlimited data 60 dollars per month per email account but they bill you quarterly chrome extensions multiple roles and permissions if you have multiple users in there and then there's agency professional which is again build annually unlimited data multiple rotating emails i think this is their answer to instantly or smart lead let's see how it pans out and they get you featured in their partnership directory as well they really are going hard after agencies after you know instantly and smart lead really knock them out of the market and then they give you add-ons as well if you want more data credits they give you thousand data credits per month and you can obviously buy that as an add-on uh, there's integration options Salesforce integration with available with certain plans, Pipedrive and HubSpot in Starter, Zapier are not specified, but they're likely available. Everything has a 14 day free trial, so obviously you can try before you buy. Tell us what you think. That's it for now. Take care. Bye bye.